Here, I'm gonna show you how to import data into Excel without Excel transforming it and changing it. So here we have some entry IDs. Excel's gonna have a lot of fun with that. And then here we have something that Excel is going to think is a date, but it isn't. It is an item ID. So the goal is to have it so that we get the actual data into Excel. And if we go here and look at the source file, it looks almost like an Excel file. We've got the X on it, an A and a comma. So Excel is going to be happy to open it up for us. And this CSV file has now been imported into Excel and it looks almost nothing like the actual data. And in fact, for item ID, if we set that to general, we see a date serial number. So everything is pretty much messed up. Let's go ahead and fix that. Go back here, go to the data tab, then from text CSV, select the CSV file. We can see our data has already been changed and butchered. To fix it, go to data type detection, do not detect data types. And there we go. Now we can load the data and everything has been imported as it was supposed to be. And item IDs are not dates. Now I'm going to show you one more way to do it. Data from text CSV. Select the file. This time transform data. You can do a lot of really great stuff here where you can remove columns, change formatting, do all sorts of stuff when you import the files. And if you want to make sure you get the original source data for some of your imported data, you can go to the upper left of the desired column, click that, and go to text. For change column type, choose replace current. And that's all you have to do. Then we can load the data. And that's how you can import your data without having Excel change any of it. Now, if you want to automate this entire process, I suggest you check out my full Excel VBA course that'll show you how to automatically import, transform, change, and do whatever you need to to your data with the click of a button. And we've got links to them below this video. So check it out and save yourself some time. That's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.